Aloha. So uh, I did some uh, <laughs> I did some shuffle around so that I could make a video uh, with these two side by side. I just I put my uh, I put this my desktop monitor and stuff uh, over here. I couldn't fit the keyboard, and then uh, on the left here I have my uh, I have this is the they're both uh, the Razer Blade 17 inch with the 4K touch monitor um, and the RTX 3080. This one is the 100 watt. This one is the 130 watt. Um, so uh, if you hadn't watched my last video, um, I've been having some problems with this one. Or I've been having problems with this since it's February. Just uh, so it's just a screen issue. Uh, it's just a, I think it's a software issue where the screen goes, just goes away and uh, the, the, the laptop stays on, the, the computer part of it stays on, it just disconnects from the monitor and uh, and, and whatever. Uh, the, like I said, the, the computer stays on, but the laptop, or the, the, the screen goes away and it just doesn't recognize it and more often than not I can uh, plug it into a monitor and get it to re to uh, save my stuff and recycle. Anyway, so um, for me that's unreliable and it's it's not uh, what you expect when you pay as much money for you do for a razor. Uh, but anyway, nobody wants to hear about that. So so I bought this one and, uh, and unfortunately it did immediately within the first couple hours it did the, whole, the screen issue I, I had on this one. and. Um, and so I, uh, I just put it in a box. I put it back in the box, and I got a hold of Razor, and I was. Uh, uh, it went a lot easier than I thought it was going to go. It did take like eight, nine different interactions before I finally got to uh, the return part of customer service. And then once it once it got to them, they were like, "Yep, boom, here's a shipping label." Uh, so, so I had to work this week, and. Um, and you know what? And I, I just I brought it to work because I wanted to show off to a, co a colleague. It's like a little uh, relationship I have with a guy that sits by me. Where we, anyway. So I brought it to work, and um, and I fired it up, and that was the day that I posted the Deadpool or the the, the Death Loop video, and um, and it fired up fine, and and it was going good, and the second. Uh, actually, it didn't even finish it. It got to, almost to the end of the death, death loop uh, download, and then the whole th it just restarted. It didn't. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to use the word crash, but it restarted. And uh, and when it fired back up, I had to go back in, and, and it it had to do, it did something to the death loop files, and they had to go through. It was corrupt, and I don't know if it re-downloaded or whatever. But but then it's been fine ever since. I haven't had the screen issue. I took it to work two days. And uh, it didn't crash, or it didn't have the screen issue once. So, uh, so I have these both set up the same. They're uh, they're set up the same as far as uh, I just put this uh, mouse pad, mouse pad, mouse mouse, and uh, they're set up the same. Um, I have Cinebench up here, but. Uh, you know, it's not really fair to compare these two laptops because this is a, a, an i7, um, this is an i9, uh, so th so they're, they're not really comparable. But if you're interested, single core is, uh, this one is th number three at 1258. Single core on this one is number one at 1548. Uh, Multi-core on this. Oops. Multi-core on this. What the heck? Did I just click that wrong. Multi-core is. <laughs> Multi-core is uh, six at eighty-eight oh five, and on this one, multi-core is uh, number four at ten seven five four. So if you're interested in what the Cinebench is on that. Um. Other than that, uh, I would say they're they're not they're not comparable. 
uh, i7, i9, uh, 100 watt uh, TDP, 130 watt TDP. But so they're not really comparable. You can't, I can't just say, oh, this one's significantly better than that one because it is. It's hardware, hardware better. So, uh, so the other difference is, is this one has a better. It's so it's supposed to have a different camera. And you know, I, I've never actually looked at it. So let's see. Uh, camera. And let's test on this one. So, <laughs> look, Black Santa. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't tell. It, whatever. I've never used it either one of those. So, but they both look good. So the other thing is, uh, this one they did something to the touch the touchpad, and it was something about somebody was something about uh, I don't know something was you're gonna get less palm. I, I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know what they did. Uh, it does have two more speakers. Um, or they say it does, uh, and uh, I don't really use the speakers. I always use headphones, or I have uh, the Namos. Uh, but they do have some new speakers. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, this. So the uh, the the fingerprint coding. So actually, a lot of people have asked about that, and. Um, so it, it sticks the same. Like you, uh, you still get the fingerprints, um, and uh, it's a slightly different. It's a lighter color, just slightly. So you still get the fingerprints. But here's what I noticed: is um, so like if I grab a, <laughs> a certified laptop cleaning rag, and you go like this on it. So with just your a, it, on the new one, they just wipe away. It's like Teflon almost. And on the old one, it, 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 the certified uh, laptop cleaning tool does nothing. So, so I think what they did was spray a layer of uh, like Teflon on it uh, because uh, it still gets the fingerprints. You're still going to get fingerprints all over the place. Everywhere you touch is going to leave a fingerprint. But, um, but you, when you clean it off, it's so much easier to clean off. So, 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 man, man, I don't know. There's not any literature on it, but that's what I've noticed on these two. Is uh, this one's easier to clean off? This one not so much. All right. So back to whether I'm going to keep this one or not. Man, I, I don't know. You know, this ticks all the boxes for me. You know, uh, it, it does. It ticks all the boxes for me. It's the right size. It's, uh, it's clean. I do like this clean aesthetic where it's super clean. I absolutely don't like this. <clears throat> this. This is, I, I don't like this. And, uh, and I almost thought about coloring it in with black marker. But this is the only thing about the styling I don't like. It just, I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. Uh, but other than that, I think this is one of the best designed, best looking laptops. You know, it just, it looks clean. Um, I compare it to uh, like my MSI laptop. <laughs> Like, like, see how clean this is without all the stickers. But this is a clean, clean laptop. Like this. If that razor, could they, I don't know, I'm not saying copy MSI and do this little thing here, but man, uh, imagine that razor without that green, ugly ass logo on it. Or even something like, something subtle, like uh, the G14. Anyway, um, so this ticks all the boxes. I like the way it looks, except for the green thing. Uh, one of the things that steered me away from all the other 
Uh, for example, the Alienware, the M17, that Legion 7i, the uh, Strix Scar, is the ports. So I'm absolutely not a fan of ports in the back. I just don't like that. I don't like it at all. It's a, it's a big deal to me. And um, and I like how Razer put their part their ports on the on the sides, but they're at the top. So so when you're in a cramped space, I used to live in a tidy ass apartment, and my mouse would be right here. And um, on like my some of my other laptops, where they have the ports right here, I was always clicking the wrong shit. So. So port placement is another thing that I absolutely like about how Razer did the design. Um, I do like the uh, the placement of the trackpad in the middle. It's it's like symmetrical to me, and maybe that's because I'm a little OCD or something. But I do I do like the keyboard. Oh, I don't care about touch keyboards. A keyboard to me. Um, I don't need a number pad. I've never needed a number pad. Um, the only thing. I ever needed a number pad was for the delete key, but this one has a delete key, which which this Huntsman Mini doesn't. That's the only thing I don't like about the Huntsman Mini. But but I like the layout uh, better than all the other laptops I've looked at, and uh, port placement, and then it ticks all the boxes. It's got a fast chip, uh, the amount of RAM I want. Um, the screen, which is why I bought this in the first place, is because, as you can see, I'm wearing my glasses today. I'm getting old, and I can't fucking see. So I need a big-ass screen, and I wanted that clarity with, uh, I wanted at least 2K, because that's what the my acronym is. And uh, it's night and day difference between uh, 1080p. And this 4K ticks the box. So, um, Yeah, it's uh, on paper. It's a good laptop. I do. I, I I can't believe that I have so many problems with this, and I'm just guessing I'm gonna have the same problems with this one because because uh, I've already seen it, but I haven't seen it in, in two days. This is day three without an issue. So so the question is, do I keep it, knowing that uh, it potentially has problems? And I'm gonna have the same problems I had with this one, but I still have all the features I want in a laptop. But just uh, <laughs> I don't know. So I have to make a decision soon, and I don't know yet what I'm gonna do yet. I think I have to mail it out today, otherwise I miss my uh, return window. Um, but it's a beautiful laptop. And, uh, and if it worked as it was supposed to, this would be the perfect laptop for me. Um, I do well, I do say, and I will say, uh, Razer is light years behind the competition as far as um, software here in the, uh, in their Synapse. That's it. That's all you can do. Uh, low, medium, high boost, low, medium, high. Uh, and then you have Optimus in dedicated GPU mode. That's it. There's no, like, when you do, like, Dragon Center or the uh, AMD Center or uh, the ROG, whatever the, well, that one is, it's just, it's so limited. This one's a little different. Um, so this one, I do have the option to go 120 hertz in Optimus, uh, and this one I don't. And it's just a little, just subtly different, you know, but it's different. Um, so uh, <laughs> I had to do this video really quick on the fly because uh, my daughter doesn't know I bought this. <laughs> and if she finds out, I'm going to have to buy her one. So, uh, so I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet, but I have to make a decision today. But um, as far as does it do everything I want? Absolutely. Um, is it super fast? Is it super beautiful and constructed well? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not an MSI, but it is what it is. It's, it's, it looks sharp and it's, it's built really good. Uh, it, it is 
a little behind some of its peers, but it's still beautiful. Um, it's definitely not an MSI, but uh, if it didn't have the screen issues, this would be the perfect laptop for me. So I don't know yet. All right, so I have a couple other questions from somebody. Um, and one was on this one. So no, it won't power any of the laptops. Uh, and it won't charge them if they're on. It, it'll like keep you level unless you're doing some heavy stuff. And then it'll just drain the battery, but not as fast. Uh, that's not what I bought it for. I didn't buy it to, um, to power a laptop. It would have been nice. It would have been a good value add-on if it would have kept some power. But <clears throat> this thing does everything I want it to do. Um, and it's, it's, it's plastic, it's not aluminum, um, maybe it's a little composite, but it's not, it's not aluminum, um, but it is, it's good, it is, does everything I want it to do. Um, I got a question yesterday about the dock. Um, man, I love this thing. This thing does absolutely everything I want it to do, um, and I'm probably going to get another one. Uh, I don't know, one of these advertised, uh, one of the advertised features is that it will do um, Thunderbolt video, but I don't know that. Uh, I haven't tested that out yet. Uh, I'll try to do that soon. Uh, but uh, I hope that answers your, your question. It does. It is advertised to do Thunderbolt video, but this is not uh, aluminum or uh, whatever metal. It's just uh, plastic, but it is awesome a little overpriced but that's rated right products um, so back to the laptops uh, here they are side by side and um, yeah I don't know I still don't know if I'm gonna keep them yet beautiful they do make beautiful products um, nice sleek clean design and if it didn't have a screen issue it would be everything I want and so we'll see I don't even know I, I, I'm, I'm weighing the option if I can deal with the screen issue so I think it's just as simple as a software issue and Razor should just <laughs> Just with all the all the software out around, well, outsource it, purchase a license to uh, do what you need to do. Uh, so I don't know, man. I've looked at so many different laptops, and uh, I'm also limited because I'm in Singapore. I can only get a certain amount of stuff, but. Uh, yeah, I'll know. I'll know today because I gotta ship it out today, so I'll know actually soon. But I had to make this video before my daughter found out that I bought a new laptop. <laughs> Cheers.